I knew there was something I forgot. <laughs> hello, everybody. Uh, I forgot my microphone. Uh, so, hello, everyone. Welcome into another Final Fantasy IV stream. Um, we are going to be, well, playing the game today. <laughs> we are, um, we're trying to save the dark crystals. What are they called in this one? I feel like they're not called dark crystals. Anyways, the crystals in the underground uh, is, is what we are after. And, um, yeah, we're trying to defeat Golbez and uh, lose some friends along the way. Let's see where we left off. Um, I, I did play a little bit here, uh, because last we left off we actually um, ended up getting uh, party wiped. So, um, what I did was just, I ran back from here to the Dwarven Castle, bought some Phoenix Downs because, um, we ran out of those. So, we have, um, uh, sort? Yeah, so we have 30 Phoenix Downs now, so that's nice. And also, on the way there and back, back again, um, a few people gained a few levels. Um, nothing really special. Rydia gained Osmos, Rosa gained... Dispel and Kuraga, quite nice. Uh, but Tesla gained also Raze, so now we have two people with Raze, so that's also going to help a lot with those Phoenix Downs. But but now we have at least those as well uh, to help us. I do notice also that Rosa and Rydia are the not only the squishiest characters by just merit of being the mages, but also um, they have the lowest level, so... <laughs> That's unfortunate, but um, hopefully we can survive. Such a colossal place, this tower, but we must regain the crystals. Oh yeah, 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 we're not going to try and save any crystals right now. We have, we are attacking, um, with, the, with the help of the dwarves, we are attacking the Tower of Babel here. And uh, this is Golbez's lair, and we are going in here to try and recover the seven other crystals. Or six? I think Gorbis has seven right now. Anyway, so we're gonna, gonna try and get those back from Gorbis and um, while, while Gorbis is out trying to get the last crystal. So we're not gonna try and defend the last crystal, but rather just come in here and steal some. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, what, do, what do the other people say? A tower of this magnitude could not have been built by human hands. Their main force is gone, and this much strength yet remains. Hard. No sign of Rubigante. Golbez may not be here, but that doesn't mean this tower is empty. Yeah, so this place has some rough stuff in it um, for our levels, so... Let's hope we, we survive. Huh, well, now we have only one flame hound. I've seen, like, three of these flame hounds um, appear at the same time, which is not a nice, nice thing. <laughs> um, and Rydia is taking a lot of damage here. Let's, I didn't check our um, auto battle, so let's just do this manual and see what we got. And why, why would you focus attacks on Rydia? He's already squishy enough. Um, which does make me think, maybe we should see if we can help Rydia in some way. Um, there's not too much. Uh, Rydia's having lightning, which is nice. Um, the gold hairpin is the best thing we can do. Uh, the Kempo Gi would give it more evasion, but drop pretty much everything else, so... Not really, especially the, those magic stats, which are very good. Uh, rune Armlet, again, the best thing we got. So, it's just that Rydia is simply naturally very squishy. So, that's a bit of a problem. But hopefully we can manage that. Right, let's see. So, we have auto jump. Attack, okay. Uh, let's switch this one to... D 
dragon because um, it could be also we, we could use like Shiva or something. I mean, I guess if we have a lot of flame hounds, we'll use Shiva instead. But I was just thinking because the summon only costs like the dragon only costs like five extra, so mm, I don't know. Uh, perhaps auto potion could be a good thing for already, actually. Well, 100 health is not going to be much. Sizzle attacks, um, Rose of Praise, and Kick. Yeah, that works. That works for some random enemies. Naxadil! Hello, hello. How's your day? Welcome, welcome. Oh, didn't mean to switch characters. I mean, we can switch characters. We can run around as Rosa as well. Uh, B2. Wait, B2? Did it say B2? I would imagine since we're in a tower we would be going up. Not down. Or was it actually a big number? Are we... Ah, uh, we, we might be like in the basement right now and we'll be going up from here. I think that might be it. Counter stone gaze. Why would you counter with that? I don't think we've actually seen Shiva's summon animation yet, so... Diamond Dust. I actually didn't remember that Shiva's... Uh, this was Shiva's design in this game, actually. Actually, actually. In the 3D version. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We got one of the flame cats. And the other one's down. Rose gained a level. Always good. Green Ray. What is that, then? Um, it is a strength increasing, a strength and evasion, so is it just a better headband? Yeah, I think it's for Yang. Probably the best thing. Yeah, let's give it to Yang. As upgraded light armor. Really gotta just keep our health up here. It's a dangerous place. Flame cats. Like if these three attack us with scorch, that's pretty much like rip right away. If they just do a triple scorch, there's not too much we can do. But I think we are getting Shiva in here. Yes. So we can probably wipe out at least one of them. Putting another Scorch in. I imagine we'll get... Nope. Didn't get Khan yet. Kane's okay, taking a long time to come down from that jump. <laughs> Skipping turns. Rydia gained a level. That is good. More health for Rydia is is really what I want right now. Um, I think we'll focus on having Cecil be our out of battle healer, uh, so that then the others can focus on focus their MP on on, on using battles. Hmm, this is probably the next whole area. No, it's just a treasure room. This seems like it's a trap. I'm betting monster in a chest. Ice brand, enemy ambush. <laughs> Called it. Called it. Oh, what are you? Uh, security eye. Hmm. Seems like a, a, a trap upon a trap. Alarm. Got a Chimera in here. Well, at least the security eye is out. Uh, what would the Chimera not like? 
I mean, chimeras are usually like every element, so... So, so, so... Bio, maybe? I mean, we can use this moment to also use um, Osmos. Oh, I'm down here. Because I, I bet that the Chimera has some MP to steal. Osmos. None! Come on. This game. Bomb prank. Is this just Fira? I think so. Sizzling Young. Uh, and we got Ice Brand. But let's check out this uh, bomb prank. Yeah, it's just Fira. Um, let's see if Ice Brand is any good. I mean, in this area, it is uh, probably quite nice. Um, it would drop our attack by seven. Um, also, strength by five and stamina by by five. But it would bring our speed and intellect and spirit back up. Hmm. I think it might be worth it because just because of the element uh, in this area. We have some uh, ice damage. Is this the next floor? B11. Okay, I, I, I completely misread that then. I think this is B12. Yeah, alright, it's B12. Okay, it makes sense then. We are at the bottom. We're going up. I'm not sure if actually using jump in these random battles is worth it. Now that I think of it, because... Like, most of the time, Kane's not going to be able to come back down and contribute to the fight. So, I think it's probably going to be better um, in the long run to just have, have Kane do attacks in random battles and then jump uh, in some other instances. Is this a treasure room? Yes. Probably another enemy ambush. Probably another security eye. <laughs> the Chimera is absorbing ice. Nice trick. Let's do some heals. Hero was enough. It is Ice Lance and Enemy Ambush. Now, for the Ice Lance, I'm scanning for intruders. I am not so sure, actually, if I'd be interested in that. Because Kane's using the Blood Lance, which I, I bet is more powerful than the Ice Lance in the first place. Um, but also because I, I really do appreciate Kane's ability to jump and, and then maintain health through the Bloodlands rather than being reliant on heals from the party. So I'm not sure if we'll equip that. Let's see though. It would... yeah, I forgot that the Bloodlands does drop all of Kane's stats down uh, considerably, so a drop of 11 in attack might not be the worst thing, really. Uh, again, uh, but, but okay, well we are going up against some enemies that do absorb ice, so maybe we shouldn't overload the ice attacks. Uh, so. Yeah, maybe we'll just go with this. 
Complete well map complete. Three Arctic winds. Shadowy! Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome in. What are you up to? Let's uh let's draw a shout out there to Shadowy. Last in playing some Tales of Zillia. And the clip is from Uh, hold on. I recognize that... I recognize that character at the end there. Uh, trying to... Trying to dig my brain. Was this some sort of a Xenoblade game? Somehow I'm, I'm getting like Xenoblade, but it's, it doesn't, no, it, the, the, the new one doesn't look like anything like that. Wild Arms. Wild Arms. I'm gonna try Google on that. But yeah, the, <coughs> the clips are nice. Uh, always nice to see what, what people are playing and, and, uh, see what their stream looks like, of course. Wild Arms. A 96 game. I don't know why I got like a... I, I'm not sure if I was thinking of Xenoblade or something else, but the, the character there at the end was... strangely familiar looking. It was Wild Arms 3. Alright. Is it a good game? Is the is the real question. <laughs> is the game any good? Uh cat claws. Nice. We can make young a cat. Uh we have confuse and poison. And this just gives stat boosts. Um I think, whoa, controller, <laughs> controller decided to go out, um, I think I'd rather have Confused because it's basically like a disable, uh, so this one's gonna not have any stat, uh, any um, status effects, but it's gonna increase young stats, especially speed goes up by quite a lot, plus five speed, so yeah, that's, that's quite nice, 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 nice. Uh, you do like the Wild Arms, you stream the entire series. Alright, alright. I don't think I've, uh, I've heard of it, actually, now that I think of it. I, for, at first it sounded familiar, but as I looked, I looked it up, I don't think I've actually heard of that one. After, I'm gonna have to look it up. Just by a quick, quick Google, it did seem interesting, though. Rosa gained haste. That's possibly good. <laughs> Again, haste and speed and, and all of that stuff is, is one of those things that really, really changes from one game to another, whether it is useful or not. Um, but I think in this one it just increases your ATB and um, and uh, and your your uh, charge time so it's probably good um, also because this game does like stop everyone's ATB charge when something happens so probably good definitely great once you get omni casting all right yeah, so you can you can just like speed up the whole team. B10. Well, I don't want to go there. B10. So that's the entrance there. Pink's down. Oh, unless it's one of these where the B10 10 level is split into several sections.
Gotta love that free MP from Prayers. Doesn't heal us much, but then again, like if we use Cecil every now and then to do some um, between battle healing, um, Rosa's gonna bring Cecil's MP back up uh, and it will probably be quite sustainable in that sense. Oh no, it is one of these situations. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Don't, don't change. Okay, this is a save room, so I'm thinking this is probably not where we want to be right now, because this is probably progression this way. Maybe. But then again, maybe it's not. Maybe this is just a treasure room and, and some save points and whatever. We should never know. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> this is the worst. It is the worst. Like, in... In this game, at least, they reward you for going everywhere. So you're gonna be going everywhere anyway. But... But still. I, I want to know where I'm supposed to go so that I know where I don't want to go. As in, I, I don't want to go where I'm supposed to go. Maybe this just loops around. Egg. Um, egg, egg gets healed by ice. Oh, wait a minute, Rydia's gonna use... No, no, Rydia. Rydia's gonna use Shiva. Please, no. Well, Egg is fully healed. Mystery Egg. Yeah, it's just a black lizard. What is this then? Alright, treasure and probably an ambush. I do like the augment system in this game, in this remake, uh, where you can like mix and match your, your characters. always appreciate those kinds of kinds of systems in these games because that adds a lot of like replayability plus also um, just like a certain amount of like fun in, in trying to figure out some cheesy combos for okay if I give this character this and this then they become undefeatable <laughs> which of course then makes the whole game kind of kind of um, trivial but then again as I've said, like, Final Fantasy games usually aren't really hard. Um, they can be really challenging if you just, like, try to run through them. Um, but if you, like, stop and gain a few levels, it's going to be all that much easier. And, yeah. Enemy ambush, of course. Uh, it's a pretty cool system. Yeah, it is. It, it's quite... It's unfortunately quite obtuse. Uh, for, for like if you were to play this without any knowledge of the system you would probably miss out on most of those augments because you wouldn't know that you need to give a certain amount of augments to certain characters to gain more augments later on or or even to to know to go and look for most of those augments because like the augments that you get after the elemental themes you need to just kind of go back into an old area and 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 uh, go to that area again to find that and yeah there's a lot of those those kinds of situations so it's not the easiest to to kind of get into but um so we got some ice armor I think we'll get no Kane's gonna be up in the air anyway so I think we'll we'll give it to Cecil. But oh, Cecil has the nice armor still on, so... Probably gonna be a nice thing to have an upgrade anyway. 
Yes, this is gonna get that. But I do like, especially like in this, in this game, they, the characters have certain like intrinsic. Is this just an empty room? I don't believe it. This isn't Final Fantasy II. You don't just put empty rooms around. All right, we gotta, we gotta go back. This is clearly where we are supposed to be going. But yeah, like, because there's, there are certain abilities that characters have that uh, you can't uh, just give to another one by augments. Like, for example, the like magic abilities. Only, only certain characters have access to magic abilities. Uh, you're, you, there is no white magic or black magic augment that you can give. So that keeps the characters unique uh, and separate from each other. So they don't become entirely like carbon copies of each other, um, which is like one of the only, only like or, or few like criticisms that I have of of uh, Final Fantasy is like five and and ten, um, where where you can basic where your whole party kind of is just like you can use whoever you want and just. They, they don't really have any differences between them. Um, in 10, they have a little bit, but like, in 10, because everyone ha has access to all of the abilities, the only thing that separates them is their overdrives, um, which is, of course, quite a big uh, thing, though. Um, so, and, and of course, like, they're attack animations and such, which means, which is why Lulu is the worst, but, <laughs> but that's beside the point. But then you have, um, you have, uh, Yuna, who is, who is like OP because Yuna is the only character in that game who has a unique ability that nobody else can have in the game, uh, namely summoning. Um, so that's what makes Yuna cool character mechanically and in this game then they have made sure that pretty much everyone has like something that only they can do um, hmm. well not really but most most characters have something unique that only they can do let's say have a unique equipment uh, so there's that Right, this level is cleared out. I think it was high potions, I don't even like read it. It was, no, it was high potion from the chest and, ah, whatever. Some trash flying around. Oh, no, 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 I, f I forgot Rosa doesn't have, a... well, okay. Ah, uh, no, 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 I'm not gonna, no, what, what the? I'm just, <laughs> I'm hitting random that, but, um. <laughs> I made I made Rosa twin cast. I forgot that Rosa doesn't actually have attack as a command. Um, all right. So what's down here then? A killer bow. Um. Oh yeah. One when I was running back for those Phoenix downs. Um. It is an upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Um, I did find Medusa arrows, uh, which have terrible attack, but they may inflict stone status. But I, I'm not equipping those on Rosa because, well, truth be told, Rosa's not going to be attacking with, with the bow most of the time. And when I do atta attack with the bow, I think I'll prefer, like, pure damage over over any status effects. Even though stone is a good effect to have. Nope, again, I, I did the same thing. I was just trying to twin cast. Oh. No egg surprise. Only one kill.
Hmm, should we have a tent? It's pretty much just for Radia to get some MP. Sure, sure, let's, let's have a quick tent since we are right next to the save point here anyway. Again, I think we just got unlucky the first time we got into this place because, yeah, if you if you meet three of those flame cats and they hit you with a triple scorch, you're gonna clear out most of your party. Uh, what am I looking for? A tent. Going then. We have 80% on this level. Another treasure room. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is a weapon for Radia. Ice shield. Yeah. Could have been. Um, I do. I do guess that we will probably get some sort of weapon for Radia here soon. Oh, hello, Gollum. Uh, Gollum take no damage from Young's kick. Oh, well, worked. Don't know what happened. Oh, because I think the kick was initiated before the golem appeared, which I think means that it doesn't get targeted. I think. Everybody got a level except for Radia. Uh, so we got an ice shield. I think we'll give that then to... Kane, then, sort of both Kane and Cecil are harding fire damage. Very cool. B10 complete, five high potions. Like these, these rewards by themselves are not very exciting. B9. We did have a save point, so we might be looking at a boss battle here. Perhaps. Truth be told, I don't remember what happens in this tower. like there's there's several sequences in the game that are quite similar to each other um, so I don't actually remember what's gonna happen here which is of course fun um, summon yes really are wiping them all out I guess Shiva works pretty well as long as we're not trying to hit something that is resistant up, I think, first. Yes. Prayer unanswered. Meh. I think it's interesting um, 
I feel like summoning magic has has become associated, or summoners have been become associated with white magic as the series has been going on. Like, if there's a summoner who has access to other kind of magic, it's usually the white magic. Um, like in Final Fantasy IX, for example, both both of the summoners in that game have access to white magic. Um, and, and, and yeah, like Final Fantasy X, for example, Yuna is a white mage slash summoner. But in the OG, in Final Fantasy IV, where you have your first, like, separate, unique character who is, who is a summoner, um, their spells are... and they're, they're a black mage. Rydia, of course, starts off knowing some white magic, but after gaining access to summoning, uh, loses access to white magic. Uh, black magic. No, white magic. Yeah, loses access to white magic. So I think that's interesting. <laughs> I mean, there's... I don't really have anything else to say about it than it, that it's interesting, but it's interesting, you know. Fascinating. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the... Yeah. Gaia Hammer. Well, we don't have uh, we don't have Sid anymore. We lost our Sid. Um, is this gonna be? It seems like it's possibly. No, this seems like it's an extra area. Possibly, hopefully, maybe. Is this progression? Some dry ether. Am I progressing? Do we need to run back? Yeah, this is definitely progression. Yeah, we need to be on the other side. This one's already been cleared out. This has, doesn't have exploration, so I'm highly assuming that this is going to be a boss fight right here. Um, in fact, now, now I think I've jogged my memory on what the fight is going to be. Uh, let's use... We can't use warp here, unfortunately. Can we use warp on the previous floor? No. Okay. Let's do uh, mid... Uh, or a... Between battles. Heal here. And here's the battle. We don't want to go in there yet, because that's gonna that's gonna be a boss battle. We need to go back, go through the middle part, and then try to find our way up uh, down to that P6 level on the other side. Overkill on that, Shiva. I guess we might as well explore this level as, as we are already here, though. I wish of a part we can get to. Aim. 436, not too much damage, but it's something. No egg. Oh, here's another save point then. We can use that before we go against the boss. I 
I really like Freya. It's just like it in this in this game especially because it, it gives you MP as well. Any ability that that just like gives the whole party some free MP is always nice. Because then you don't need to use your, your ether, so you can instead well in this game you can't sell them. Or you can, but it's gonna be just for one heal, but uh, yeah, you don't need to be using ethers to keep up your MP as much. Skeleton trying to thunder us. <laughs> Gets blasted by Shiva. I mean, Ridia is doing some insane damage here. Learned Blizzaga. All right, so Ridia is up upping, upping, uh, going up into the next tier of magic. B9 map complete. Five remedies. Well, that's a nice one. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the door is locked. <sighs> Oof. Oof. I ran, <laughs> ran up here for nothing. Why didn't I just check that first? Absolute Final Fantasy moment. I should just play this game with like a walkthrough that tells you that, hey, don't go to this door because you can't. I think I've played most Final Fantasy games. Like I usually, when, when there's a new Final Fantasy game I, that I haven't played, I usually play it first. Um, oh, we didn't go to the save point. Well, whatever. Um, I usually but sneeze maybe no no sneeze but um <laughs> uh, I usually with a new game I um, go through it just blindly normally just run through it uh, I usually try to like do as much as possible as much as I can find uh, then I oftentimes just like do another playthrough uh, with a with a walkthrough. But then you know once you've played them a few few times, I don't really use any walkthroughs after that. Quite. Do be careful, Rubigante, my lord. There is no need for concern. Blanc's castle has already fallen, and its ninja forces with it. I trust matters here to you until my return. Wee hee hee! Lord Gorbez and Rubigante are both gone, and only I at home. I'm lord of the tower now. That's a strange one. Who's there? Uh-oh. You're that sizzle louse, aren't you? When in toad spittle, did you squirm your way in? Way in? Rubicanta is not here to help you. Are you sure you want to press your luck against us? Press my luck? Gah, the outrage, the belittlement. Do you have any idea to whom you're speaking? I'm Dr. Luge. I may not be one of them, 
but Gorbez made me his chief strategist for a reason. I can keep this tower clean of vermin like you. I'd like to see you try. Oh ho ho, you will. My beautiful little boy will have your heads for playthings. Doctor. Yeah, now I remember this. And Barnabas. Um, I watched... Uh, go Barnabas, crush everyone to bits. I watched uh, Wholesome Arda uh, struggle with this, uh, this uh, fight here. Let's do a twin cast here. Yeah, not me, you big oaf. Them, over there. Got it? Boom. Show them what a strong boy you are. Jump. Dragon. Can't be letting you run out of oil. Restore. Oh. Let's see what between cost. Oh no. Doctor's dead. Pyroblast. Mm, not so good. Not so good. Come on, come on, kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Nope. Alright, young, please attack. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Alright, good. If one of them is left alive when the other one is dead, they kind of go berserk. Rosa learned float. Ah, now you've done it. Prepare to see true terror's face. Doctor. Now the real fight begins. Enough of this foolishness. Look upon the face of fear. Reversal gas. Luga is the, the like, original Hojo. Restore. Alright, let's do a Cura there. Uh, Rydia can heal us with, um... I don't know if Blizzaga is overkill. It's probably overkill. Counter Sleeping Gas. And then we can do Curaga. No! Don't just spam that. Yep, everyone's dead. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, Phoenix down. Wait, does Phoenix down actually restore? No, it doesn't restore here. Uh... Um, can we cast anything on ourselves? Can't we use items on ourselves? Yeah, this is a bad time. Right, we are getting reversed. That's good, so we can at least use Cura, as well as those um, Phoenix Downs. We can bring Radia and Rosa back up. Go. Because we need Rydia in order to do healing to ourselves here. Well, they are dead again. Right. Let's try again. Phoenix down. Phoenix down. The battle speed is a little bit high for this battle, actually, now that I think of it. Beam. Well, that just kills Young. That's fine. As long as we get uh, Rydia and Rosa back up into the fight, that's fine. Is 
it's pretty interesting, like, um, like a puzzle battle. Let's get a Kyuraga and hope that we don't get a reversal beam in that, because that would that would be painful. Alright, uh what can we try to use Shell? I'm not sure if it helps. No wait, everyone didn't get healed up quite as much as I'd like, so let's do a cure. Counters with sleeping gas. Let's take Kane out of the battle here. Up in the sky. This got beamed. I mean, really, I got beamed. Um. I guess just smack Luca. Just with sleeping gas, let's bring in Dragon again. The heal Rosa. Young is down. Uh, we should actually probably haste Rosa for this. Because I want Rosa to be able to kind of do what's needed uh, when it's needed. Is it going to be a bad, bad time if um, Luge uses reversal when Rosa is trying to do a Kyuraga on the whole, whole team or something like that? Sizzle up. Okay, here's reversal. So now we need to switch it around. Oh, Sizzle's going to die. <laughs> Not quite. Alright, let's heal Luge. And that's also gonna heal Luge, actually. Like, heal, heal. Um, Sizzle's gonna need a healing here. Uh, so let's do... Um, what was it that Sizzle was? Sizzle isn't... Sizzle is, is actually resistant to Blizzard. But I guess Sizzle's gonna die now, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but we can do a Blizzaga on the team here and heal up. And then let's do a Kyuraga. Okay. And do a... No! No! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Iridia, don't do it. Oh no. Please. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> One of those situations. Oh. <laughs> I think it's a pretty funny fight. <sighs> with with the charge chimes, you you can like you you <laughs> do a move and then you need to wait a little bit for it to actually happen so the enemy might have a chance to use a little reverse of gas there in between the fights which is not so very nice oh well oh it didn't uh, heal up this time um, um, we're probably fine so the focus doesn't actually hold between the fights, so let's just go for attacks here and uh gun. and dragon and well might as well just aim. This is a pretty easy, this first, first uh, phase of the fight. 
As long as you just take both of them down at the same time. Because um, otherwise, yeah, they're gonna be doing some... Some uh, evil combos. Um, I think if you take the Doctor down first, then Barnabas does self-destruct, basically. Um, I think pretty much just wiping out one party member. Uh, but if you kill Barnabas first, then the Doctor, uh, like, becomes Barnabas. Not a good, good thing. But yeah, this is a, like, real fight. But yeah, here we need to basically start off with radio casting, uh, casting something on the party. Because reversal gas is coming instantaneously and then um, restore is going to be coming very, very soon after that. So I'll just prioritize getting to Rosa here and doing... Oh! Reversed right away. Alrighty then. I guess let's do a Blizzard on Luga. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's go for a Queen cast then, if we have this situation right away. Um, we're gonna start getting hit by these, like, in very, very powerful attacks. So, a shell, again, wouldn't be a bad idea, but... It'd be very nice if you can get a... Oh no! Ah, Twin Cast failed because of Sleeping Gas. That's... That's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, if, if we are able to get... No! Young's dead. If we'd be able to get, like, a Twin Cast in, like, an Ultima, that would be quite invaluable in here. Sleeping gas. While we still have... Well, now it's reversed, so we can't bring Young up. I don't think there's any way of um, resurrecting while we have reversal gas on us. So Rydia needs to heal the team. Oh, Rydia's actually out of MP. Uh, that's not good. I mean, we can try to do a thunder here, but I certainly have to give a dry ether to Rydia then. Really is sleeping. Right, we're reversing again. So let's go for let's go for Ray's first. No, I don't want anyone else to die. So let's go for Kuraga first, and then try to bring Young up. Bean. Phoenix down and young, and then we'll do another Uraga. No reversal gas. No reversal gas, please. Beam on Cecil. And then we can do Dragon. Do a bit of focusing. And let's do a jump. Jump can be extra bad because it, it like it has such a delay. Uh, but on the other hand, oh, it's down. Uh, on the other hand, it also means that uh, Kane will be out of the battle, so it won't be taking any any uh, nasty attacks to the face. Um, I wonder if I should just no. I should do target all Piraga. Thinking of just focusing on the young, but. We need to heal everybody up, except that everyone's dead. This is bad. And Kane misses. Nice. Right, let's... No, don't swap rows. I mean, it doesn't matter. But, um... Oh... Let's hope for a beam and just go for two Phoenix Downs here. Hoping for a beam.
This little young king can take a flamethrower, but... Ah, we got a flamethrower. Let's go for a beam again. We're being pushed on the defensive here. Luka doesn't have that much health, so... Alright, no healing, uh, so let's go for a Blizzaga on the whole team. For hopefully a full cure. Uh, no! Again, another reversal gas. Cecil's alive, but at what cost? Need to get Rosa up. Need to get healing in here. Oh, thank you for the physical attack. That is quite considerate of you. Let's do a Kyuraga. Do it. Get a beam. I will Rosa's uh, radius down, but that's fine. Bing. Media back up again. Rosa needs to just spam those Kuragas as long as we are not reversed. Okay, we are reversed. Well, let's spam that Kuraga on Luga, though. Because we need to actually defeat the boss instead of just staying alive. Staying alive is nice and all, but there we go. Unfortunately, Kane and Young didn't <laughs> live true, but as one of those bosses where you kind of have to keep the pressure up or else you're going to end up just healing yourself forever. 12,000 gil. Pretty nice. Pretty leveled up. And nobody else. Hee hee hee. This tower reaches beyond the surface, you know. Rubicante has already moved the crystals to the spire above. All that remains is to annihilate those accursed dwarves with my cannons. Wee hee hee. Obtain Luge's key. Thank you. Oh no, the dwarves. To the cannons. We'll destroy them. It appears to be a teleporter, but it does not respond. It also appears to be a save point, but it does not respond. Um... All right, let's do some raises and then heal up. So yeah, quite the fight. Quite the fight. Uh, there's nothing up here. Then let's go back down there and use the key. Run around us. Really. Now let's run around as uh, Kane. Egg. Let's go for that save point actually now that uh, we got through that boss battle so we can. We can get some... Oh no! This so we don't waste our turns. All that damage for nothing. And it's just one of these. Is it? any sort of cool items out of that. Sad. That's like, that's, that's the reason you play these games, is to get cool items. I guess we got the key which we're gonna use them to move forward, but that's not cool. Um, I think we need to go for a cartridge here if we want to get some more MP. Our first cartridge, I think, whole game we've actually used. 
Uh. Uh. Yeah, now we go to the locked door. They have us on a back attack and they still go for magic. Pandara spam. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention, um, I noticed... Um, I'm not sure who it was that posted it. It might have been Xbox or somebody. Anyways, I, I saw a list of, um, like... Um, games that are coming to the Xbox um, Game Pass in, in the upcoming weeks, like what's been added this week, what's going to be uh, next week and the week after that. And uh, so next week on the 25th, my birthday, we're, uh, we're actually getting on, on Game Pass, we're going to get Octopath Traveler, a game that I've been interested in but I've never actually played or actually ever seen anyone play it either. So I think that might be a game we'll go into. Uh, probably not like next week, um, in, in a while, but we'll, we'll get to that though. Might be interested in it. Wahahaha! Die dwarfs, die! Step away from the cannons. Yo! How did you get in here? Slaughter them! Come on, you're just random goblins. Random goblins trying to kill us. Yeah, I could have just kicked them all. No! You can't stop us! Gahaha! There's no halting the cannons now! Oh no! Is there nothing we can do? <laughs> Kane did the classic. Hand shaking. It's too dangerous! I will take care of things in here. The rest of you, get out! Are you mad? It's too late, Yang. Forgive me. <laughs> Just kicks everyone. Yang! Yang! Another heroic if sacrifice. You should see my wife again. Tell her to live enough for us both. Don't be a fool. Open the door. Young! Please, Young! Don't throw your life away! Young! It has been an honor fighting with all of you. Open the door, Young! Young! I mean, what did it accomplish? Why did Young have to be there? Other than so that we have room for new party members. If it came to it, could I make the same sacrifice? Now I uh, feel bad that I didn't <coughs> take Young's uh, equipment off. He tried to protect me when Leviathan attacked too. Young and the dwarves too. All for us. Young, you were strong and true till the end. The door is badly damaged and will not open. Hold on. Ooh, now remember. Yeah, we, we can't actually go up there yet. That's true. I think. Yeah, I think what we need to do is, um, can we just like teleport out? Mm, nope. I do think we need to just leave.
Unless we need to go back to a teleporter. I mean, technically it's close to us, so... But let's assume down. Of course the dungeon gave us a lot of uh, cool equ equipment for young, so that we could lose it. Here comes the Scorchers again. Oh no, Rose is dead. Your raise. There we go. Rose gains some EXP though. Kane's a pretty simple character. Just gains gains stats but doesn't gain any sort of like new abilities. No new magic or anything on each level up. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. I think we go down now. I think. Let me just check those augments, by the way, just so we don't miss out on any. Yeah, I think I think we need to go down. Uh, back to where we came from. The one in the middle, right? Run around a skin. Goblins. There's always gonna be, gotta be goblins. Firaga. Nice. We're still missing Fandaga. Uh, what's the exit here? On top? Maybe? I just ran through this area, but you know... <laughs> what do you expect? Yes, and this is actually the exit from the whole place then. One final fight against some goblins, of course. Yeah, the game is, the game is full of uh, heroic sacrifices for, for everyone. You are even more meddlesome than I had thought. Go best. My son won't to play well while the cat is away, but I'm afraid our game of cat and mouse is at an end. The time has come for us to part ways. Farewell.
That ki that that foe would have still killed everybody. Whoa! Doesn't get much closer than that. Sid. Huh? Where's Young? Young he. He sacrificed himself to stop the tower's cannons. Another good man lost. Sniffle. Who's that one? That's Rydia, a survivor of mist. Uh-oh, we're being followed. Can't you shake them? This, is, this should be the faster ship. They must have made improvements to the Red Wings too. That was a big explosion. Another heroic sacrifice. Sid. One after another. Rushing to die like fools. We go to Baron for Sid. Or Sid. Ah, it's over here. It kind of teases you to, hey, you get Sid back. But nope. You don't. Um, so we need to go, I think, over here? Right? Captain, I almost did not recognize you. You look as striking as a king. Please be your alive. Aren't the airship people here? Lord Captain, you've returned, and none too soon. His Majesty is dead, and Baron will surely have no man but you to lead in his place. The Red Wings are no more. Gorba has stolen our entire fleet. Yeah, if only we had an airship. Wait, where are we supposed to go to Baron, not the castle? Perhaps. Let's go to Sid's house. I guess let's go to the throne room first and then Sid's house. Maybe somebody has. What can we possibly say to your men, Sid? But where? Baron, Cecil and Rose's homeland. Did, were you plotting something with your crew? Even now I expect to see Sid running up to greet us. 
Because I thought those were kind of like still screwed. Palum and Porum. Bad times. Like, heroic sacrifices are the big thing in this game. Everybody gets one. Like, seriously, how many do we have now? Seven ish. Let's check at the town first. I don't think there's anything here then, other than those places. Uh, Sid lives up here, if I recall correctly. Yes. Hello? Far is off doing the usual, I suspect, tinkering with that airship like some bright-eyed child. Uh... <laughs> Let's go with that. Um, no? Whoa, 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 well, where am I supposed to go? That's just the Devil's Road. What the? By the castle again. <laughs> hmm. It's just a mage laboratory. This isn't gonna help us. Anybody in here? Ah, here we go. Lord Cecil, the fleet master told us you'd be coming. He told us to make a hook and bring it to the Enterprise for when you for you when you came. Won't take but a few minutes. engineering right there. That ought to do it. Now you'll be able to carry that hovercraft of yours beneath the ship. Just fly over the hovercraft in the Enterprise and press A to hoist her up. To set her down, just press A. You'd even be able to reach the Cape of Erdlan now, down by the Tower of Babel now, eh? Just set the hovercraft down on some solid ground nearby. Then use it to cross the shoals. Thank you. What about Sid? Ha! Ah, quite a handful, I'm sure. You don't have to tell us. The man never addressed if you killed him, he'd probably come right back from the dead and keep on working. Well, we'd best get back to work. We have a mountain of it waiting. Best of luck to you. Right, so now we can go and grab the hovercraft then. Yeah, I think the Cave of Eblon is actually the only thing that we can even grab. Uh, or, or the only, only place we can go to that has shoals to, to begin with. We we'll probably uh, rest up at a guard, though. Maybe do we need? Hmm. I'm gonna say no. So Eblan Castle, we've already been to. No need for that. What can't I land? There we go. But then we finally can get to this cave. Cave of Eblan. Start right off with a secret area. Shuriken. Remedy. Um, I wonder if we should switch off Shiva now. 
Ah, maybe we'll hold it. Unless we end up going against some sort of um, ice resistant enemies. Probably fine. Soundtrack is just so good. So good. Uh, this seems like a dead end. Aha, we need to go down. Unless we... I think we probably need to go down here first, though. Maybe. Perhaps. Unless no. The enemies here have become quite trivial right now. I say now and then we end up against some sort of uh, flame cats again and we'll all die. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Rosalind Reflect. Every now and then, quite handy. Reflect is always like especially nice if you have a game where you also have some sort of ability to bypass Reflect. Because then you can usually just cheese it. Mm-hmm, this is probably the way to the next area. So let's keep exploring here. Yeah, I think we need to go back up. Right. I feel like Ridia is falling behind in speed. Kane and Cecil both get like two attacks before Ridia can get one Shiva summon. Ridia learned Thundaga. Let's compare those speeds. Uh, let's see, we have Kane has the speed of 25, 23, and 31. So not, like, Rydia shouldn't be that slow. I guess Shiva just has a long enough charge time. I guess. Um, right, so this is just like an uh, alternative way to... Again, I do like that it shows almost all of the treasure on the map as treasure chests. There are still some hidden treasures every now and then, but those hidden treasures I don't think usually are much anything. Um, like they, they tend to be just few consumables. Map complete, and three Bacchus's wines, and a vampire fan. Alright, the next one seemed to have a lot of exits out of it, so that's gonna be fun. Maybe it's a Final Fantasy II situation where it's, it's just a lot of empty rooms. I don't remember about the original. I'm thinking the original might not have had the engineers tell you that, hey, 
You can take your hovercraft anywhere, maybe even the cave of Eblan in the south. I feel like that probably wasn't the original. I'm not sure though, but but I, I feel like that wouldn't have been there. Um, they would have just been, hey, you can now move your move your um, hovercraft around, and then you'd have to figure out that oh, is this one place over here that we can get to? So we got some uh, giant's gloves. So those give plus five strength. Uh, also defense up quite by quite a bit. Uh, competitive power armor it drops evasion and magic defense. Um, how about for Cecil? It would drop Cecil's spirit down. It would give plus 10 strength, actually. So it's, it's better than the power armlet in that sense. Um, let's go with the giant's gloves of Cecil. And actually, now that we are out of that really fire elemental place, Maybe we'll switch to Dwarven Axe to have even more strength and, and attack on Sissel. Again, it's going to drop Sissel's other stats, but I think we can go with that. Yeah, Sissel got 66 strength now, which is quite a lot. Attack of 82, but I think Sissel's going to do more damage than, than Kane because of the increased strength. Won't be able to be able to hit this golem with with uh, weakness, but just have like more damage in general here. So let's see about this then. No exploring this. Oh, hello. Back, creatures. Oh, you're men, not monsters. It's town. Welcome. Uh, do we need any items? Uh, we're going to get some diet rations, sure. Um, otherwise, pretty good. How much for a sleep? 700 gil! Okay, I'll take it. Again, we could have gotten 50 gil at a guard, but... I'll take it. Alright, best be moving. Eblan. Or what's left of it. We were driven from our castle and so have made our home here. We are the proud people of Eblan. Weapons and armor. Uh, power staff. Ice brand, if we didn't pick it up. Um, ice lance, if we didn't pick it up. Kunai. Um, and boomerang. Um, hmm. Possibly. I'm not gonna buy any right now. And we can buy some shuriken. Uh, we also have poison arrows here. Attack 20 though, so no. Arm wise, we have ice shield, ice armor, and black robe. Black robe's gonna drop radius defense, but it might have better stats though. I would imagine it would have better stats. It is 10k though. Uh, I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna look it up. I hate that it doesn't tell you that. Why? Why? Let's see. Um, uh, 
black robe is... It's actually worse. Huh. That's interesting. Like the luminous robes that Rydia already comes equipped with. Give a plus five to intelligence and spirit. While uh, the black robes only give a plus five to intelligence. The other stats are superior in the luminous robes as well. And uh, the luminous robes even have resistance to lightning and undead. So I have no idea why it's even being sold here. Because you can't get to this area before, like, the... I... I don't get it. I don't get it. Why would you buy this? Why would the... Why would the game try to trick me into buying that? Um, we could give Ice Shield a nice armor, but... Again, we're kind of trying to save a hundred thousand gil for that membership, so... So, it's, let's, let's save up our money. No way! Hello, hello. How are you doing? Let's throw out a shout out for No Way as well here. Last scene playing Final Fantasy XV. And. Where's the. Where's the clip? Where is the clip? I think Twitch Guru might be down again. Seems like it's good. It's down. Do we go in here? Try again, real quick. No clips today. <laughs> you have to just go and check Doorway's channel for some clips. Uh, our provisions will soon be gone. We cannot remain here forever. Those few who managed to flee with us have taken refuge within. Oh, the, the, there it's coming. Check out No Way. Is the actual clip coming in, though? Oh, no. Is it going to do the same thing as... Oh, no. <laughs> it might just be stuck on Check Out No Way Forever. Like, was it was stuck on uh, Check Out Rio 09, the other... <laughs> Other stream. Let me try one more time. If it will maybe clear it up by showing an actual clip. I think I need to just open up uh, stream elements here. And uh, turn that off for today. I mean, I don't, I don't complain, sir. Uh, it's a. Wait, is it not in. I thought it was on stream elements. Is it in. Where is it? Uh. Hold up now. Ah, oh, it's in it's in here. Why is it separate? Well, I don't know why I have it there. Uh, anyways, all right, <laughs> I'll just turn it off for now then. <laughs> uh, but but go check out No Way though. <laughs> Great streamer. <laughs> Got a potion. Where could all those monsters have come from? Even our ninjutsu did not protect us. I am the seneschal of, of Eblan's royal house. I know his young highness well. He has an ill tongue, yes, but he is a kind man and a benevolent prince. He has been overseeing the excavation of a tunnel to the Tower of Babel that we might avenge our fallen king and queen. I have not seen him for some time now, though. I pray he has not done something rash again. The prince said he would find all the monsters and make sure they didn't come after us again. So we can go back to the castle soon, right? 
They waited until his young highness was away, then came for our king and queen. I won't let any monsters near my mother. I have to protect her and my brother or sister in her belly. Oh, my sweet, poor sweet boy. This may well be the end of an ancient and proud line of a Blanese ninja. Be strong, my love. Our prince will make our enemies answer for what they've done. Potion. A whole... whole, uh... nation of ninjas. His young highness left the scout the passage, but the house outgrows late and still he does not return. This passage leads to the Tower of Babel, stronghold of the fiend Rubicante. Alright, let's keep going then. Beef. Almost left like a tiny sliver of of a uh, map unexplored there. Um, are we supposed to go to the other side through here? This young highness makes for the tower. Alone! Um, or are we supposed to go back there to another area? Uh, better probably go down and check. It might be that we go to the eastern section through this, or then... Well, I'm gonna just check this, okay. Uh, or then it's a secret passage in here somewhere. Let's keep an eye out for the walls here. No, I, I do believe we go there by... Moving back in on the area. Really, we wouldn't need anyone else to do anything. Everyone can basically just defend, and Rydia can one one shot everything around here. OP summoner. I feel like summoners tend to be OP, um, at least in like games where they. Where they are like unique characters. Oof. Wasn't enough, so he's gonna get healed. And it is a lump. Don't know if I wanna switch Rydia maybe off of uh, Shiva here. Counter slap. does yeah silence stays on so you, let's use some echo herbs and Cecil be nice for Cecil to have the ability to use some magic please stop his young highness okay um probably this way I feel like Final Fantasy IV, in many ways, like, epitomizes or, or, or crystallizes what, what, like, 
what early Final Fantasies were. Like, this, this has it all, I feel. It's very, very, like, poor Final Fantasy. He means to find Ruby Kante. Um, which is actually some a, a discussion um, we had, I think, on HBomb Editor's channel, if I recall correctly, about, like, how... How um, Final Fantasy IX isn't actually representative of of Final Fantasy games, even though it is supposed to be like an homage to Final Fantasy as a series, but it's not actually representative of what the whole series nowadays is, because the series as a whole and the, at least like the most uh, popular entries lean more towards like a more modern more more sci-fi um, aspect rather than the like classic fantasy where it all started off from so in that sense yeah this isn't necessarily like poor Final Fantasy these days necessarily but it, it used to be used to be Although it it seems at least like on based on the the teaser and probably the only thing I will be seeing about Final Fantasy 16, uh, 16 seems to be kind of a return to the fold, sort of maybe. At least it won't probably be a road trip like 15. Probably. His young highness, he is blinded by his anger. I mean, if we're seeing these people over here, is this where I need to actually be? Come on. I, I hate this. I, I hate when... When I don't know where to go. Okay, there's so many eggs that I, I do want to switch off Shiva. Um, we can probably go with the dragon. And Kane just keeps missing. Is the accuracy on the bloodlines somehow low? And it's another Lamia. Check the bloodlands. I mean, it does drop um, every other stat as well, so maybe. Um... Oh, it does have actually eighty percent accuracy, which is kind of bad. Um, no, all of the all of the lances actually have eighty percent accuracy. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Spider the silk. Now there's still that one area right there above us. How do I get to that one? Let us see. a lot of bats. I think really I is actually gaining MP here overall. So I feel like Rosa is able to get two prayers in for each summon if the battle goes on long enough. And if not, you, a lot of the time Kane and Cecil are going to be able to wipe out the enemy without really using any magic. So I think we have a stable MP supply here.
I still didn't switch off. Shiva. And it's a lummy. <coughs> Let me switch off. A lummy hop. Well, we certainly have somebody who can use harps, right? Um, let's go into abilities. Let's switch Reedy really over to um, Spam Dragon. That works. Uh, I'm going to pick up these chests before we go. Silver Hourglass. Phoenix Down. And Phoenix Down. There's got to be over here. No, there's like... How am I supposed to get to that? There's just cliffs everywhere. Maybe we're supposed to fall to it from above. I'll look at the walls one more time just to check though. But maybe we are looking for... For a way down. That's not usable either. No. Huh. Well, regardless, I think this is actually where we need to be going, so let's not. Let's explore, explore this area first. Confusing area. So I, I love Kane just auto attacking undead with the blood lance, healing the enemy and, and taking damage. Eight thousand three hundred on that Lamia. Yeah, Rydia is doing some damage. Um, oh, uh, that's another one. That that one's a, a, a clear cave, though. I don't know, it's hard to say. Like, they, the augment system is clearly there to patch it up, um, but I kind of wish that in the remake they had made it so that you could switch between your party members here. Kind of. Like, well. The problem is that the game, the, the plot needs, like, like, the plot shouldn't be changed. Like with Final Fantasy VII. Uh, the plot shouldn't be changed, which makes it so that, um, because most of the, most of the party just kind of leaves your... Most of the people leave your party by doing a heroic sacrifice or something, so... Yeah, it doesn't really work, but... Hmm. I just wish there was a little bit more, like, flexibility to, like, who you're using. Um, instead of just having those pre-built parties, but I don't know. Then again, that also means that um, the the devs always know who you have in your party. 
So that's good. From a developmental standpoint. Now honestly, this this chest. This chest fascinates me. Huh. It's gotta be some sort of like we fall from up above. Although I'm not sure how we'd get out of that area with the chest that much. I think we just need to go keep going. We will find out. Radial and break. Mediocre spell. Oh, Blood Feast actually caused that. I don't realize that. Breya unanswered. I wonder what the chances for that are. Kane just gains levels and stats. Stats and levels. Cave of Eplan. Cave of Eplan. Second passage. I can read. Pliest. So hey, by the way, is it um? Anybody know? Is it tomorrow that? I guess it probably is like tomorrow. Uh, the. Uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier comes out, right? Um, I assume so because I've been seeing many, many ads for it, which I've tried to ignore because, again, I've just, I've already decided I'm gonna watch it, so I'm, I don't want to see anything more. Uh, spoilers, or, uh, those um, trailers always spoil. Um, honestly, I have no idea. Right. Yeah, I, th I think it's, I think it's tomorrow because, if I recall correctly, I checked that um, like there's there's for some reason, like one, um, they had Wonder Vision coming out every Friday and then they I think like had one week off for some reason, and then started, then they're gonna start that. So so that would mean that it would be tomorrow. Haven't kept up on movies and such since COVID happened. Yeah, I mean it's. Certainly, like, changed, changed that, in a sense. I don't remember, there was something that just kind of... I, I didn't even realize came out... Uh, at some point, like, I think in uh, last year. But yeah, I mean, I'm interested in seeing that. And I, I did see... Uh, See good news in my opinion, where the writer for that show or the showrunner of somebody, somebody apparently said in a tweet that uh, that the that series won't spark as many fan theories as One Division, so it'll be more clear cut. It'll be interesting to see where they go with that. Blood Sword, enemy ambush. Oh, just some two stone golems. Fall. Lol. Speaking of movies and COVID, I think that is still it's. I, I think it's absolutely hilarious that the last movie that most people saw in theaters uh, is there was. I don't remember what the other one was. They were like, yeah, I don't remember what the other one was, but the one that I've seen and which. For, for a lot of other people as well, is like the last movie they saw in a theater is Sonic. I just think it's absolutely hilarious. Um, why is there a gravestone with nothing on it? I mean, there's clearly something on it, but I can't read it. Huh. Well, we have a blood sword now. Um, 
Blood Sword has the same, like, minus 10 to everything. It is an attack of 45 only. But it might have a different sort of um, calculation. I'll Google that. I'll check the wiki uh, for that as well. Um, I usually like to know these things on, on like, uh, wait, did I look at the wrong thing for the armor? No, it's true. It's true for the tree Lee version as well. Uh, I did look at the wrong thing, but it's, uh, the, the armor is the same. Um, yeah, like some, just, especially like bloods, blood swords and such are really bad at, at like telling you what they actually are. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Blood sword, metallic, uh, absorbs 10% of the amount of damage dealt from the target, minus five to everything. Okay, it doesn't seem to have any sort of like special... Oh, it has a hidden defense bonus. <laughs> Interestingly. But yeah, otherwise it apparently is... Doesn't have anything special. Huh. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Um... Alright, well, let's not equip it then. Oh. Like in some games, the blood sword is really good. In others, it's really bad. Shuriken. Aha! Here we have a hidden passage to something. Plus, it would be kind of bad in situations like this, where we have three undead enemies, so both Cecil and Kane would be dealing pretty low damage. But actually, like, they would be hurting themselves, they would heal the enemies, so... Yeah. That would be pretty low damage. Then we of course have Radia coming in with the dragon. This is almost level 50 now. Huh? You. <laughs> Apparently, you can just go through that hole. <laughs> Skip the whole section down there. Good to know, good to know. Supplies. Oh, and interestingly, Aurelia's um, prayer has gone to all the way up to 29 MP, which means that right now with every dragon, Aurelia is technically just using 6 MP, uh, if we assume one dragon per one prayer. Ruby ring. So soon, uh, Aurelia will actually be using up less armor, uh, less um, MP than prayer restores. It's quite the nice situation. Hello there. We have uh, Picante here. Um, I'm gonna see if I can sneak over to this <laughs> treasure chest real quick. A dry ether. All right. We meet last. I've been looking forward to this, Rubicante. Should I know you from somewhere? I'm Prince Edge of Eblan. Edge. 
Prince of Eblan. Eblan. I'm afraid I do not know the place of which you speak. You just told Luge about destroying it, so... Then let me help you remember! One v one. I'm not in control. This is a pretty powerful fire. Flame. Uh, probably not a good idea against the pitiful. I guess like the fiend of fire. Allow me to show you real flame. Rip. Damn. You. You strength worth enough of pride, but not nearly enough to think of challenging me. Own your skills. I look forward to facing you again when you have. Come back here. Are you right? I lost and he got away. Of course I'm not all right. We came to find Rubicante too, and the crystals he holds. Rubicante is mine. You stay out of this. I'm going to put an end to him. With, with my own hands. Your enemy is an elemental archfiend, your highness. You've seen his strength for yourself. Huh. Don't mistake me for some pampered prince. The Ablanese royal family is heir to the secrets of the ninja masters of old. I don't need help from lesser men. Enough. I can't watch another person go off to die. First Teller and Young. And then Sid too. All of them. All of them. Hey, I didn't... I mean... Radia. Sniffle. Rubicante is the strongest of the four Archfiends. Whatever we can even hope to... Whether we can even hope to defeat him, I cannot say. But we have no choice. We must take back the crystals he holds. It doesn't look like I have much choice. I can't leave a pretty girl crying. Let's do this together then, just this once. Too weak to stand and still as arrogant as could be. It's nigh on comical. Rosa, do you think you could? Kira! You already know Kiraga, so why not use that? Thank you, my dear. You're not so rough on the ice yourself. Right then, time for us to break into the tower, now that we are all fast friends. That was awfully fast recovery. The Ninja Edge joined the party. For a prince, he seems to lack restraint. Just you wait, Rubicante. This hardly seems the time for such foolery. This is Eblan's prince, an adult who acts like a child. So that is Rubicante, the last of Golbez's elemental arc themes. Alright, so what does Edge have? Kunai. Alright, so good thing I didn't buy any Kunai, but uh, we could do we could do boomerangs. Uh, boomerangs are less damage. Less accurate as well. But a bit more speed. And they could be used from the back row. Hmm. I mean, for now, Edge will be in the front row, then. Uh, we have Green Beret and Black Belt Gear, so that's good. Mithril Gloves, I think we might have something better. Uh, well, actually, no. Yeah, I guess Edge comes with as good as equipment as we're gonna get. Uh, Edge, is, Edge has Attack, Steel, Pro, and Ninjutsu. Um, I think we're gonna go with Auto Battle Steel. Uh, so Edge will actually not be do, not, not be contributing to damage uh, regularly. 
looks like it's the end. Second passion map. Ah, so how do we how do we get to that one chest? Let us cheat. Eblon Cave. Cave of Eblon. Um Items Um Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here with Blon Um Chess. Left. Apparently, it's on the left side of the map. I thought I already went there. Uh, can we use warps and such in here? Yes. Maybe we can warp to Eblan from here. Uh, nope, that warped us into the save room. That didn't really help. Oh yeah, but we can just... Uh... No, wait, we need to go... Yeah, yeah, we can we can use this. Uh, this... Shortcut here to go down. Enemy has no items. Of course, the egg doesn't have any items. It is but an egg. So, ninjutsu is kind of like... Similar to just black magic. Um, pretty much. Uh, Shadow Bind. Mirage. Mirage is gonna do blink on the edge. Uh, smoke, I think, is just escape. Blame is damage. I don't know what Shadowbind does. Let's throw a Shadowbind on this. Let's see what happens. Shadowbind. No effect. Well, thank you. It's probably something very useful. Let's try again. Shadowbind on the Lamia. Alright, it seems to be hold or paralyze. So that's paralyze. Um, I guess I'll test it out. Smoke. Uh, test out Mirage first. I think it's just blink on edge. Pretty sure. Yep, it's just blink. Um, I do believe smoke is just gonna make us escape. Yeah. It's that kind of smoke. Oh no 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 no. We need to be in the in the next area. I thought I I thought I looked through this place here, but I guess not. Couldn't steal. We're gonna be seeing that a lot. So in Final Fantasy IV, you get steal kind of late into the game, actually. Most of the others where you can steal, it's usually one of the like first abilities that you gain. Thought I looked through this side. Oh, no, 
go. Huh? That's still a nope. I don't care if it's just a potion. I can't leave a single single chest here in the middle of this random dungeon. And of course not map out the whole place. Steel. Good steel. Oh edge. Edge is the OG cool kid. Hmm. It confuses me because I've I've gone through this whole section already. absolutely hidden there. Woof. Woof. Enemy has no items. Oh, Edge really doesn't do too much damage. At least at this point. Six hundred and seventy-four damage. Not good. Then again, Edge is more about, you know, that um, support and utility. Not every character needs to do insane damage. Hmm, <laughs> it does still hurt that it is simply a high potion. Ooh. Right, warp should take us now to the next level, yeah. And then we can just, we can run from here. Skeletons. Get out of here. Do give me something cool though. Let's do it. I'm thinking that um, if I recall my Final Fantasy IV storyline correctly, I think we have like this stream uh, and then the stream of Friday. Um, wait a minute. Wait, hold on. It's today. Today's Wednesday. Okay, so so <laughs> regardless, <laughs> I thought today was. Friday. Uh, so, so, um, yeah, so Falcon and the Winter Soldier is not coming out tomorrow. It's coming out on Friday, if it, if it was this week. 
But yeah, so on Friday's stream, uh, we'll probably get close to the end. So I think next week, because I think we have next week... Um, let me just double check that. But I think uh, next week we have... One Final Fantasy IV stream, and I think that'll be the only one then. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have Final Fantasy IV just on Wednesday next week, so next week this time. I'm hoping we'll be able to finish the game then. Because that means that we'll be able to move on to Final Fantasy IX then. How can we enter the tower? Ah, you forget you're with a ninja! Here we go! Okay, you can teleport. Good to know. A unicorn horn. Yeah, so now we are at the top of the Tower of, tower of Babel. Moving downwards instead of upwards. Which I think is a pretty cool like design choice for a for a dungeon like this. To have like a tall tower that you go first you go up to the middle and then you come down from top and go to the middle again. Pretty cool. Not such a bad, um, not such a bad series, this Final Fantasy right here. I think this has potential to be a, be a long-lasting series. Be one complete five bomb fragment. So we're trying to get to B6, I think, was the one. No, no blaster, please, no. Miss, good. No blaster, please, no. No effect. Good. Unicorn horn. for some cool treasure. Probably just a consumable. Yeah, silver hourglass. I feel like consumables are never exciting from treasure chests. Even if it's like a mega elixir or something. If it's a hundred mega elixirs, then that's that's something I would consider to be slightly interested in. Most of the time, it's not going to be anything cool. Stole a Lamia Han. Still nobody who can use that. Also, this sort of uh, design and, and the way of cutting it off with the uh, with the um, uh, the cave of Iblan makes it so that you know this is a really long dungeon, but it doesn't feel as long because it's kind of cut off in that sense. Um, so we got ourselves a rune staff that would give us bust in spirit with lower roses. Speed, though. Hmm. I think we'll hold on to this, to the speed. Increased spirit would just make <clears throat> Rosa's spells stronger, but I, I, I think what I want is just for Rosa to be able to cast those spells faster. Who 
do steal. Because I think reaction times is more important than the potency of the spells, because we can always just like use a bigger spell, and um, the bigger spell usually is enough. So usually it's it's more about the reaction time than anything. So some sturdy ogres. Sturdy black shreks. Ogre killer and enemy ambush. Huh, some ogres. They don't want me to get the ogre killer. He probably has a damage bonus against these things, actually. Radia is starting to run low on MP. It's unfortunate. We might have to go with some... Uh, some ethers. Unless we can fight a save point before that. for the best. Right, Oak Killer goes on um, Cecil. Deals extra, gi extra, extra giants to damage. Extra damage to giants. Yeah, that increases. <laughs> it lowers every other stat just a little bit more. So it's even like, it's just like more of the same. More of the same in every way possible. Um, but that means that Cecil has a strength of 70, which is quite something. But I do think in general, Cecil is better suited to be a tank slash uh, damage dealer rather than a support character, because even without any penalties and, and just like going with the best spirit increasing uh, items, Cecil's magic is still kind of weak. But Cecil has a uh, weaker selection to, to of, of white magic, of course, as well uh, uh, than Rosa. So generally, I, I do like to just use Cecil as kind of a backup healer and just a raise machine rather than somebody who actually uh, is supposed to be supporting the team. Right, let's, let's see about this uh, overkilling damage then. Okay, it wasn't that much. I guess it was an ogre killer's worth of damage, though. Hmm, still couldn't steal. I wonder what you can steal from these things. Possibly some ogre killers? Okay, I mean, over 4,000 damage, that is quite something. Ooh, Rosalind Kiraja. Yeah, now we have that really big heal, so... Yeah, increasing spirit isn't that big of a deal right now, then. Hmm, is this a treasure room or is this progression?
I'll keep going. Oh, I hope this is a pressure room. Little Rose is actually running low on health. Let's do some um, inter fight healing with Cecil. I suppose what I need to be looking out for is um, enemies that that use magic, just like traditional magic, because they will have MP on them, hopefully. The healthy Lamia. Are we seriously going with another dragon? Oh, nope. <laughs> really got confused. Edge. Alright. Whew. I think this is just a treasure room. A big one. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know why I was leaving Thursday. I had like a clear feeling that today was Thursday. But Thursday was of course Valheim Day, so... We're not playing Valheim today, so we're at a pl so today cannot be Thursday. Ashura. Plus one speed, plus five attack. Not bad. Don't tell me. No. 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 Wait. That's where I was. Oh no. I just want to know where I need to go. It is a confusing world. Really, I should just be using maps. Way too much EXP here, wandering around. No, 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 no. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pull up a map for this place. Uh, arrow. Do I have a map? 4D, no 3D. Gotta be a, like a good map of this. Sorry about the whole, whole uh, game being frozen here. Every time I tab out, it freezes up. Is it? Yes. This is the 2D version, but it's probably the same. Um, yeah, okay, this is kind of confusing, but... 
Let's see, so this is, um, where are we? B. We're in B. Uh. Here's this one. Um. Uh, yeah, we need to we need to go back. I don't think warp works yet. Oh, it does work now. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, we need to keep going in here. Otherwise, we would have have to have like gone forward and then come back all the way here, because there's just one chest that you need to pick up on this level before going into this this uh, room. It's still hard because you like sometimes you do need to go into a room to pick up like an uh, an item that's off there. Lilith's kiss, but here I think we only need to go get that chest and then we can go on. So this is clear cut. Especially in areas like this where you go like up and down between levels several times. Instead of it all just being like you going clearly just down with each level. Oh yeah, Rydia is going to be running out of MP soon. In fact, right now Rydia can't cast Dragon anymore. But that's kind of fine, we can just do a, do a round of attacks with Rydia instead. Some heavy little wrath. Slump Shulos just followed. Slump Shulos. Okay. The the text to speech said it about the same way that I would have. <laughs> Slump Shulers. Hello, hello, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Oh, what happened to the soldier? Got frozen? Oh, really attacked it. And it got paralyzed. I know what's going on. Edge. Edge is definitely gonna get, gonna get speedier and speedier with each level up. ourselves a dragon and Rydia has a little, little bit of uh, MP to spare as well. Yes, a little bit. So some Bacchus' wine from the ogre. Kind of makes sense. And some Zeus' wrath. Cecil is level 50. Which I've stated before is sort of the level where I expect in most Final Fantasies you to be able to go into the end game. 
but here, not so much. Um, I think we need to go down. Oh, hello. What is this? Ooh, is this where you teleport? From the lower level, I think so. Here, really is going to be able to get that dragon in and use up some MP again. Again, I mean, I don't think it's really. We don't need to use an E first to bring Radius MP up here. It's fine. It's fine. Self destruct. Oh no. Oh. Ooh. Good. Good, good. Radius survived. Oh, Sizzle, Sizzle also broke 3000 HP. At level 50. Um. Oh. Two doors. Let's do left first. So as you may have noticed, um, in this game you increase your stats by leveling up, uh, unsurprising there, but um, once you hit level 70, um, the stat increases actually gain a bonus based on what augments you have, I think equipped, not learnt, but equipped. Um, so those will contribute to your uh, stat stats after level 70. So after level 70 it will become more about, it will, it will be less about like what are the augments you want to use and more about what are the augments that allow you to uh, increase your stats in a way that you, you'd like. Yes, this is the tent room. Let's go ahead and use cottage. Get Rydia up to full. Which is sort of similar to like um, the stat boosting in Final Fantasy VI, for example, where you need to have a particular match side equipped. Three explosions. Those can be handy sometimes. I think this is about like getting pretty close to the end. Probably the last proper level. Uh, do we go up or down? I'm gonna check. Uh, we're going to that. Uh, we go left. So this is definitely like a... Ooh, 10,000 gil. It's definitely a very, like, memorable Final Fantasy with very memorable characters. Um, again, like, going into, like, how this is the first proper, proper Final Fantasy with a proper story. Um, and, like, proper characters, that's the thing. Um, the Final Fantasy 2 did have, like, characters with personalities. Um, 
of separate characters. There were just random nobodies, such as in, in Final Fantasy 1 and 1 and 3. They were just empty shells. But in in 3 they actually uh, or in 2 they actually had names and like some personality, but not all that much. You know? Uh, lightning arrows, no. Empty. Apparently. Um, but yeah, not, not like so much. Well, the only memorable thing about it is like... Guy speaks beaver, and that's about it. Um, otherwise, they are kind of... Well, you know, you, you do have the... Like, you, you do have the, like, example of a very classic set of uh, player characters, though. Like, you have Firion, the, the he hero, um, who's, who's kind of like self. Plus you have Guy, the, the, the more brutish character who's still pretty kind-hearted, though. Uh, you have uh, Maria, who is who is very much like the the heart of the team, and then then you have Leon, who is the, the brooding, edgy character. You know what I mean. You know, King of Eblan, Edge, Father, Mother. Thank goodness you're all right. And you! Come, Edge. Yes, come with us. With you? Where? To hell! Edge, watch out! King of Eblan and Queen of Eblan. Hello there. Um, I don't know if it matters that Ed Edge has. The edge has a... Uh, oh. Can't use ninjutsu, but I don't know if that really matters. Uh, that was protect, I think, that I just cast. So let's do... let's do shell. He was stealing no items on the king. Um, dragon. What if the queen has anything? wish for death. Which really. And allow me to speed you on your way. Fire? That's not... That's not much. If this is another fake fight. No items. Let's do a, a, a twin cast here. Get the big blast. Perhaps even the biggest one. Ultima. There we go. Parry this. They're still alive. It's not a fake fight. What has happened to you? Oh, it's a scripted. Mother, father. Yeah, I just waste a lot of MP on a scripted fight. Uh, we probably need a heal. Not really. Yeah, they, they are they are doing almost nothing. I think this is mostly scripted, probably. Let's just let let's let's maybe switch switch back to attacks. Uh, Ultima eats up a lot of MP. Bira, 
Ooh. How much health do they have? Bringing dragon. Maybe, maybe we'll just go with auto battle since they are. Oh well, age, age, edge is actually kind of kind of low on health. But otherwise, they seem to be pretty. It's me, your son. Pretty non-threatening. Let's at least get some prayers in here to maintain MP. Let's do a uh, Cura on Edge. Oh yeah, Edge is uh, on Steel on Auto Battle. That ain't good. Alright, here we go. The King and Queen regained lucidity. Get me while I can speak. You are no longer human. Don't say. What we are is no right to live. Forgive us, Edge. We must depart now. Before the madness takes us again. Serve Eblan well, my son. No, don't go. Farewell, Edge. Mother, wait. Don't go. Edge's anger awakened his latent powers. Edge learned Flood and Blitz. You are an interesting one indeed. Such powers unleashed by anger alone. But they will not avail you. The frozen winds of Hell's Ninth Circle could not penetrate this cloak of flame I wear. Come, I will heal your wounds. Thank you. Face me at full strength. Rubicon tastes all right. Battle with four fiends is just like an absolute, absolute uh, cat jam. Do you have anything to steal? Uh, no items. All right. Uh, let's go with the uh, protect and, and uh, shell.
Um, so we want to use Shiva here when Ruby Conte kind of um, exposes. A weakness here. Hmm, I guess we can go with Mirage while we wait. Counter Blizzara. Oof. Keeps healing. Uh, we, we could twin cast. But that's kind of risky because, uh... Because twin cast might also do Pyroblast, which is going to definitely heal up. Ruby Kante to pull, so probably not a good idea. Right, I think now we can use Shiva, and we can go in with Blood. Do some smacks. And Fira. This so Ultima would be nice, but... Then again, like the other stuff, not really. Weakness. And Shiva. Weakness. Yes. Cerulean, hello. Welcome into the bops. We are here to bop to some boss battle music. Inferno. Oof! Oof! Stop the buffs! <laughs> halt the buffs! The buffs are over. No, no, Baloo Buff Club, get out of here! No, no! <laughs> We're all dying! We're all dying and the cat is dancing! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Alright, we're fine. Back to, back to buffs. Um, let's have Rosa Haste. Let's get a Phoenix down on, on uh, Rydia and then one on Edge, and then let's use Piraja to bring everyone up to full health. Team kill incoming hype. Nope. Uh, let's do Raze on Edge, and then... Rosa can come in with the big, big heal. Piraja. That's <laughs> me. Kane won't get any heals, but Kane's in the air anyway. Oh yeah, full heal. Come on, reveal yourself. Counter Blizzara. Stick your... Oh. Oh. Too easy. Fight was too easy. Well, I knew... I knew the gimmick already, so... Learn new ninjutsu tremor. Most interesting, you combine your strengths to over overcome foes you're stronger even than yourselves. You are fine warriors indeed. Lord Golbez himself will find you no easy opposition. I pray the day comes that we can fight each other again. Bye. Mother, father, you can rest in peace now. Your young highness. How did you get in here? Seneschal. We've come to aid you in your fight. Where is Rubicante? Lead us to him. It is already done. Oh, I should have expected no less of you. I was not alone. I had the aid of these warriors as well. 
I see, so these are the ones of whom we owe our thanks. So, just who is this Golbez? He's a man gathering the crystals in hopes of opening a way to the moon, and he's Rubicante's master. He wants to go to... the moon? The moon. The one in the night sky? Yes, that's the one. A power is set to sleep there, one great enough to destroy the world. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen. Everything that's been done has been at Dithkolbez's command, then. It must not go unpunished. But, Your Highness, your people need you now. Eblan must be rebuilt. This isn't just about Eblan. It's about the whole world. I have to help stop him. Well then, do be careful. Of course, leave this to me. Very well, we will do our best to protect a plan in your absence. Please take care of our young prince. May Shadow hide you, your highness. And you. Alright, let's go get this Golbez. We came here for the crystals. Right, I knew that. Follow me. Yeah, we still have to find those. Um, map complete. Obtained elixir. Crystal chamber. So many... A trap door? I was like, so many crystals. We seriously just fall for a trap door. Again, a fall that would kill you. Ow! We've fallen back to a subterranean level. Don't say. Oh no! Is there no way to return to the upper floors? Nope, that was that. Rip us. P7, I think is the last level that hasn't been 100%ed now. Perhaps. Chain of Elixir. Oh, no, no, we still have this whole level. Egg. Nothing to steal from egg. Oh yeah, let's show our shout out to use the rune as well. Now that we are not in a boss battle. Cerulean was playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Um, again, the clip thing is not working right now. Or maybe it's working right now. I don't know. No, I don't want to go in here. What is this? The enemy has laid us airship. Alright, we, we, we can escape in this. No, don't do it. But it's an enemy airship. An enemy ship. Don't worry, I'm sure she'd la rather be flown by us anyway. Don't do it. No. 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 <laughs> you don't suppose this could be a trap, do you? This beauty, not a chance. Alright then, we'll call her the Falcon. Go for... Quickly, we must get out of here. Let's see what you can do, Falcon. No. I need to explore the place. Don't do this to me, game. Um...
Can you actually return to that area is the big question. Uh, B7, I think it was. B6. Let's see. Um... B5, I think, is the one. Can we get back to that is the big question. It is unrevisitable. Oh no. Oh no. No, no. No. Oh no. Oh no, no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no. No, no. Oh no, no. No, no, no. Let's hope that this autosave takes us... No. <laughs> I cry. Our previous save was um, when we still had Young. I think it was actually at the, at the beginning of this stream. <laughs> no. No! 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 <laughs> Why? Why would you do this to me, game? <sighs> the wiki says you can't go in, but let's check. Okay, so you can at least, like, get into the actual tower, but I assume you can't get to the... get to the level where we were. Should we try? Whatever, I'm gonna make a save here. And, um, and I'll, I'll check that <laughs> off stream, perhaps, if that's gonna be possible or not. It is the biggest of oofs. Can't fly over lava yet. Why would the game do that to you? We need to go and talk to King Jop, but let's first explore. But we can before going there. Uh, this, I think, is where you, like, enter the place. Yeah, I guess there's nothing... No place we can go to. Alright, lolly ho Wolves. Lolly ho Lolly ho We are medics. You may not be able to tell being human, but we are dwarf women. 
The hole leading to the surface caved in not long ago. It made quite a mess down here. We rescued a strange old man from the rubble. He's recovering in the infirmary. Aha. Everyone always, always survives their heroic sacrifices in the game. What up, Giot? Oh, you've returned. I've been waiting. And what of the crystals? We failed. I see. Orbez has been at hard work attempting to acquire the last one. He's now trying to force open the sealed cave's entrance. It is only a matter of time before he'd succeed. I was hoping you might go and remove the crystal before he does. Luca. Yes, father. Bring me your necklace. Here you go. This necklace, you see, is the key to the sealed cave. No one can pass through the entryway without it. Please, you must protect the final crystal. We will try. Obtained Lucas Necklace. We will hold off their forces. Hurry to the sealed cave in the southwest. That necklace is an heirloom. It belongs to my mother. But we can't get to the sealed cave yet. Because it's behind lava. Um. Mm. Was it in here? No. Where was the infirmary? Oh, right here. Hey, Sid. What? Is it time for dinner again again already? I tell you, the cuisine down here could use some work. If I have to eat one more. Sid. You're alive. You done a real show, didn't you? <laughs> Who's this old Kaja? Kaja! Did that unmannered lout just call me an old Kaja? You're the unmannered one. Who is here? Who is this snot-nosed little brat? <laughs> Prince Edge of Eblan. Pleased to make you, make you acquaintance, old man. He has a full, foul tongue, but the matter of his royalty seems true enough. Let's not forget my dashing looks and mystifying skills. Edge, please, this man is injured. Ah, so Rydia got you reined in with that pretty little face of hers, eh? Qu quiet, you! What's become of Corbez? We defeated his four arc fiends, but he still holds all of the crystals save, his crystals save one. We would go to security if, if only the Enterprise weren't still up on the surface. The enemy ship we stole cannot cross the magma. Huh. Doesn't sound like you can do much at all, does it? Guess it's up to me again. I swear you kids would never get anything done without me. Sir, you must stay in bed. At least until you've healed. We young folk are quick to recover. There's no time to be lounging about. If you want me to on my back again, you'd best come and let me hand. He certainly seemed well enough. Indeed. <laughs> seems, seems like great work there. Just hammering the thing. <laughs> now says so just hammering the air. That ought to let you fly over anything you want. Thank you, Sid. Sid. Zzz. Seems to have worn himself out. He always pushes himself too hard. Sid, thank you for everything. What's this? There's a letter beneath his pillow. 
I'm writing this letter in case the worst should befall me. If you're reading this, I suppose it has. Make sure you give all those baddies an extra whack on the head for me. We owe it to our late king. No, we owe it to everybody in this world, even these people down here with their lousy food. And please apologize to my daughter for me, for all I put her to with my selfishness. All my love, Sid. Obtained Adrenaline Augment, Upgrade Augment, and Analyze Augment. Goodbye, Sid. Sid's just sleeping. <laughs> I like how they do. They play it out as like, oh no, Sid is dying. Nah, just sleeping. Um, you truly as a tough, uh, are as tough as you both, Sid. So, um, so, uh, so, 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 we have Analyze Adrenaline and Upgrade. I don't know if, um, I really care about any of these. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, Adrenaline, what? What does that do? It, uh, it um, doubles attack when critical, so mm, not... Uh, sort of? Sort of? And, like, Analyze is decent in that it casts basically Libra on everyone. Um, but... But, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. An upgrade is also kind of, you know, you always have elemental abilities. So I don't know if we'll grant those to anyone right now. Uh, question is, why haven't I given... Oh yeah, because I was still kind of on a fence about dual cast and fast talk, whether to give those to Rosa or Rydia. I mean, on Rosa uh, or on Rydia, uh, dual cast would give us a lot more damage output. But on Rosa, it would give quite a nice boost to our, uh, like, support abilities. Because, you know, you would be able to cast... Wait a minute. I think dual cast works that you can cast two different spells. Pretty sure. Because if it's one spell twice, then that's not good. Let me check that. Pastoku as well, I think we'll give that actually to to um, Rosa because again, I would love the support to be able to cast faster. Mm. It's not saying specifically. whether it is one or two spells. As in like one one type of spell or both spells. Hmm. Interesting. Sure, I'm not sure. I guess let, let's just do it. Let's just do it so we have it. Um, so let's give it to Rosa because um, Rosa also has like more more spell slots and um, or like more ability slots that aren't really needed. Uh, so let's give Rosa dual cast and fast talker.
And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we could replace. Um, we could replace prey. I think prey isn't going to be needed as a battle command. So we can do uh, fast talk and then do dual cast. Um, I'm not sure if we actually need it. White magic, though. Let's see. If we just go with attack without white magic. Um, sometimes, like, dual cast in parts, you actually that just looks the spell uh, menu. Let's do a quick random battle here and see. Um, so Rosa has dual cast. Yeah, so this opens up the same menu here. Uh, so then we could be casting like a Kiraga, do a quick heal, and then yeah, we can choose the next spell. So indeed, that's that's really the way to go. And that was really really fast uh, speed as well on that. Yeah, should have given that to Rosa like. Like 50 hours ago. We haven't played this for 50 hours, but you know. I'm still salty about the tower. Ah. Tiniest piece of a map. Just because you go left instead of right. Oof. Um, anyway, so so what you get from uh, exploring all of the maps is that you get a you get an augment from that. Um, you get a treasure hunter, which you can only get in one. Uh, or you can only get it once per, uh, not, not once per playthrough, but just once per save. Um, you won't be able to get it. Oh, what is this? Who this? Cockles Forge. Wanna forge me something cool? You need some um, adamantite? Or do you need some adamant pine? Master Cockle's Forge is all but gone cold. He does nothing but sleep these days, Lolly. This is the home of Cockle, the finest smith the world has ever known, Lolly. My smithing days are done. What good... Would it do for me to forge another sword? I cannot find the legendary adamantite. Hold it. Without it, I could do no greater work. Um, I didn't actually remember it was adamantite, but apparently. Found Soma Drop. What is Soma Drop? Uh, increases max MP by 10. Oh yeah, we do actually have the other thing as well. Uh, Silver Apple. Um, I'd like to give Silver Apple action to Rydia, because Rydia has the lowest health. Um, for the Soma Drop, though, I'm not sure. I guess let's give it to Rosa. This Rosa seems to have the lower MP. And Rosa has a dual cast now, so it's going to be using twice the MP. Past Rose doesn't have, uh, doesn't have Cosmos. So we need some Adamantite over there. Ah, no, don't tell me you can't. That's just annoying. I mean, you don't need to uncover the map, uh, the world map, or anything. You don't get any sort of reward from it. But that's just annoying that it leaves, like, this one tile that you can't see. That's just mean. Ooh, who is?
Tomra. By my mother's beard. Where have you people come from? There's a cave in the northwest that extends all the way to land that lies between, where all manner of beasts dwell. Brighteny, no? They tell me the seas of the surface are blue. Blue! Just the thought of it turns my stomach. Uh, guesses as how to, how much this costs. Why do those selves have have to be so flighty? We don't want to hurt them or nothing. We're nice dwarves. There's a cave full of sylphs up in the far northwestern reaches. Timid those things. I'm gonna guess 800 gil. 300 gil? Oh, it's a cheap one. Let's have a rest. Alright, let's be moving. Got an item shop here. Uh, Star Just cast Comet. That's kind of nice. Okay, some um, spell items. Not really anything we need, though. Good to know if we ever do. Lally ho! Afraid not, lad. The dwarfs of Tombra say hi ho! Ah, Well, that's worse. Hi ho! Has something happened to that castle? We've been seeing a lot of commotion across the magma. No, it all good. Me? I'm just a simple farmer. You must have traveled a long way. Go on, take whatever you'd like as a souvenir. This is just rough. Farm fragment. Dry ether. And 2,000 gil. Beast theory. And an untucked wind. Nothing else, I assume. Thank you for your gift. You hail from the surface. You mean to say there truly is such a place? Some things down. Right. Let's hope there's some good equipment here. Um, diamond armor. See, now, the problem is we gotta have 100,000 gil, though, for the for the other place. Um, I don't want to buy anything. Oh no. Are you customers? Blimey, we haven't had any of those in ages. Wait, there's two doors? Oh yeah, there is two doors. Apparently. Um, another Ashura, a chain whip, Ogre Killer, Killer Bow, Salasing Arrow Shuriken. And we can buy the chain whip. Or Gridia. Um, lowers intellect and spirit by one, but gives one speed. Hmm, I think we'll go with that. Acceptable. Thanks, dwarves. I think this might be where we need to go. Sealed cave, yes. That is where we need to be going. What is this? Passage of the Eidolons. Eidolons. Um... No thanks. 
Oh, hello, Rydia. I passed through this way when I left the Fey March. We should seek out Leviathan and the others and ask for their aid. Um, I mean, not right now. Should we go to the sealed cave first? Not sure. I guess we can choose where we want to go. What is this mysterious choice that they are giving us? Now what's this cave then? There's too many caves in here. Too many caves, two out of five. Sylph cave. Wait. I thought the Sylph cave and the... And the Eidolon passage were the same. This confused me greatly. Huh. Well, we have apparently a choice of three different dungeons to go to. The one place we need to go to, and then um, two others. But I really, really, I really, 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 really want to get that one piece of um, of the of the thing there of the map. I really, really want to get that. So, wait a minute, I, I overwrote the... Oh no, I think I might have... Mm. I made a mistake with the save as well. Oof. But anyways, I think I will... I, I'll try to figure it out if, if there's any way of doing it um, before we, we continue on too long, long with this. So, um, I think we'll continue on Friday. We'll continue on from here from, from Friday. <laughs> That's it. That's the stream. That's the stream. We failed again. Fail again at everything. I mean, it's not the end of the world if we can't do it, but um, <clears throat> I'll just try to do like a bit of backtracking and and uh, try to figure out if we can somehow, or maybe even um, I'll see if I can track down some sort of like <clears throat> no clip cheat or something that allows us to allows us to get to that one area because uh, I just I just want it, you know. But that's the end of the stream. Thank you everyone for joining in on this this one. And uh, um, let's, of course, go and uh, raid out to somebody. So we'll continue this on Friday. Um, and as said, I think like next week's Wednesday is probably going to be the last stream of this. So we'll try to get pretty good um, progress on Friday. We'll go to all of these dungeons and, and, uh, and overall just get a lot of stuff done, hopefully. Um, 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 so let's see, where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Uh... The what? <laughs> Sometimes you see, like, people playing the weirdest games on, <laughs> on Twitch, and it's like, what now? What is this game? Um... <laughs> but, um, let's, let's go... Let's go to the um, to to a Final Fantasy adjacent game. Let's go say hi to Handelf. Um, Handelf is Handelf is playing uh, Kingdom Hearts two and is um, doing like the super bosses there. So some some like extra stuff. Uh, and is doing a, a, a Saint Saint Paddy's Day stream thing. So. We got a friendly, nice duplicate greeting here. Data battles must be... Uh, something like that. I don't know Kingdom Hearts lingo, I'm sorry. I'm a... I'm a failure. Goodbye.